Oh. Hi. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you do, please subscribe. Also, join the Discord server. We just, you know, mix it up in there. Okay. Yesterday we watched Boys Alone, which is a little bit of a doc about taking 12, 11 and 12 year old boys, throwing them into a house with very minimal adult intervention for a whole week to see how it turns out. And surprise, surprise, they were little shits and they hated each other. But tonight we're gonna watch the other half of that doc, Girls Alone. I assume we're gonna see a lot of psychological warfare. I assume we're gonna see a bunch of girls just being absolutely evil witches to one another. And I would argue that psychological warfare is worse because you don't know how to react. Oh boy. These girls aged 10 and 11, are getting ready to live on their own for a week, without adults. Holy shit. During their stay, the 10 girls will have to look after themselves. Though if they need help from an adult, or from the nurse, they can ring this bell. And if they don't like it, they can go home. So far, so good. I don't see any little shit so far. But you know what? When little girls are bad, it's like shit that you never see. They're good at hiding it. Who shit on the floor in the bathroom? I don't know. Probably Kyle. Maybe Kevin. It was Alicia. Alicia shit okay, on the floor in the bathroom. Bit. Waiting for Taylor from Kid Nation to show up. God, she's here. She's actually here. I really want to kill the pigs so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say? Fucking terrible form, awful follow through. Your aim wasn't even set. Take a breath in before you decide to go. Also, you almost touched that red ball, which would have been a foul. You're out. Chaz and Kaylee are the first to check out what food there is. <laughs> upside down, no, upside down, upside down, upside down. Oh. Mm, nice. We just watched a little girl get high on camera. What the fuck? They've been in the house an hour. Alicia finds the paint. They did the air, walls, air. The little boys, they wanted to coat the walls in splatters and garbage and bullshit. And little girls immediately are like, okay, guys, let's collaboratively paint flowers. Rather than join in with the painting, two of the girls head for the kitchen. How much water did you put in it? Nearly half a glass. What? Sade tries to make cakes. Sherry takes charge of the cooking and prepares their first meal. I'm not gonna joke about how they've been in the house less than an hour and they're already cooking. I will say that it doesn't surprise me because it took three days before the boys had to come to the conclusion that they needed to feed themselves. There's already an authority figure, I feel like. She's taking charge in the kitchen. She's cooking food. It looks terrible. She goes, well, if they don't like you, that's tough. And then she goes, you're not having any crisp or fruit winders until after dinner. So I just... She why didn't the cameraman leave that in? I wanted to see that, unless she's lying. Is she lying? Sherry has made the main course. And for pudding, there's another cake made by Sade. Oh. Don't put your fingers over it. Other people have to eat it. No, we need three. We need yeah, one to one. One to try and one to put away. And I've already put away. That's what it's Okay. So they're already, damn it, this little girl's doing everything. They're already having the argument. Okay, who's gonna do what? I don't wanna do anything. So who's gonna do it? I don't want, this is the whole life experience, isn't it? As Sherry continues to clear up, Nikki and Jessica organize a fashion show. Sherry is preparing a surprise for the <gasps> other girls. Don't, don't fuck it up. How many balloons did you put in there? I can't remember. <laughs> but I see the weird. She call her weird? <laughs> but I see the weird. Why? It's not going to be edible. Why? Look at it. 
well. Girl, it's almost done. You, you, uh, it was almost done. You had it. It needed to cook longer. She's a child. She's a child. She's a child. She's a child. I will say Gordon Ramsay was within 500 kilometers of that and he probably felt it. And now he is rapidly approaching your destination. Adult help. Why do you want someone? Adult help. Oh, Jesus. Don't think we should have painted on the horse, first of all. Well, it wasn't my idea. I think it was her. It was because she was like that... me. It wasn't me. I've always loved this idea. Our brains are so trained to deny and run from social rejection that the very default reaction to being accused of something is, I, I didn't. It wasn't me, though. Suddenly, a cat appears. <laughs> It's crawled under the garden fence. <clears throat> Jam didn't know Weast was back watching dating shows. bed personally and get into the other room and if it stays over for a night then I'm just go ballistic believe me I'm just gonna go really ballistic just let it do what it's like come on let's go yeah no leave it what's the fake cat mp3 minutes later Justine pours water over Sade's bed <gasps> Sade thinking that Gabrielle is responsible decides to drench Gabrielle's bed what? Immediately, shit, there's a fucking warfare. Immediately, zero to 60. I liked that cat and you were being mean to me. So I'm going to drench your bed with water so you can't sleep in it. Men, when it comes to war, we're stupid. We attack the troops. General wouldn't be smarter to just burn their farms so they die out slowly. Kill them. And the little girl as they go straight to, oh, well, I'll lose in a fight against her. She's got the size advantage. I'll render her bedless. She will not be able to sleep. What'd you do? Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. I've got water in my eye. Why's the gun in my eye? Well, what happened to me? Why? Oh, you hit her in the eye with it. <laughs> um, what's her name? Sherry's upset. Probably because I accidentally knocked her in the eye. What's up? And nobody bawling like me, really. 1.30 a.m. 14 hours into their stay. Sade goes next door to where the other girls are sleeping. It's fucked up. What the fuck, dude? Stop being gay! You are gay? Go away! Gay Oompa Loompa! Gay Oompa Loompa! What? Organized protests. The girls are just so much more advanced than boys. Meanwhile, the boys, guerrilla warfare. We march in and die. It's not their duvet, it's the house's duvet. It's the house's. Yeah, but you stole it from them. And it's a matter of principle. It was the act of stealing the crime you committed. That's pay. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. A finger has been compromised, Your Honor. But one could argue that's not her finger, that's her hand's finger. So... Charlie arranges a meeting to sort out who should do the cooking and the cleaning. We can't have it anywhere Jessica! Else. Yeah, but I'm better at tidying bathrooms and bedrooms than I am kitchen. Oh my god. Despite the rotors drawn up earlier in the day, everyone prepares their own evening meal. Hell yeah, dude. Ah! British cuisine. What did you fucking do to it? Dead fly. Oh no, not quite. He died from poop overdose. He just wants to go home. Yeah. He's got pulse. He should breathe it. She might slit her wrist, check her arms. Oh, she, she, might. Might. she looks ill. She Who looks said that? Dead. 
Who said that? What the fuck? Dude, why are little girls so mean? Oh, she might have slit her wrist. Check her arms. Holy shit, dude. Is she packing? You going home now? Yeah. Come back on Saturday to see you. And then you're going home now. You're going. You can't go. So she wants to leave because she's been bullied too much. Cook the, cook the food as well. While Sherry's been getting ready to leave, Sade has locked herself in the bathroom. This is like an actual mindset that bullies go through where they bully because it makes them feel better until it makes everyone else around them feel bad. Everyone feels bad that Gabby wants to go home and leave and she's sitting there in the bathroom, somehow now a victim, magically so. Really, straight to it, straight to it. This is why she left. Sade is still locked in the bathroom. Sade, that's you, what's the matter? Why? Because I'm writing whoever it is a note. Once again, Charlie takes on the peacemaker role. It comes the mail. What does it say? I am not eating. I'm right, if you need a look. What the hell is that an accent me? You know, when people refuse food, it's usually a combination of many negative emotions, but one of them being guilt. She's not going on a hunger strike, no, by no means. And I think she's labeling Jessica hating her. I think she's just creating that straw man. It's like an emotional scapegoat. I'm not upset because I feel bad that I made Gabriella leave. I'm upset because I feel bad that this person hates me. That's why I feel bad. You've completely constructed that in your head. We've not seen any discourse between these two little girls. Jessica and Sade decide to patch things up between them. Not the little box. I'll go put it on the other unit so no one knocks it over. How many fingers? Sade? Yeah? Do you like me? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm hmm Have I been mean to you? No. Well, if I have, I'm sorry, okay? Okay. <laughs> I call bullshit. Most of the girls are asleep by 2 a.m., but Sade, oh, Gabby yeah. and Chaz stay up. You're fucking joking. Charlie, the girl that was nice to her when she was pulling the depression stunt in the bathroom, she's farted in her face while she's asleep. Do you think, why are we getting voted out? Yeah, well, they're only having fun. Those, uh, you, everyone thinks I'm annoying, but could, they, could it be that they're boring because they don't do anything? What's the point of coming to a house where there's no adults if you're not going to do anything fun? Fun doesn't mean being cruel to others. You keep teasing her. I didn't, I just said, well, how come you think 12 o'clock is late? Well, I didn't because say my opinion. Because 12 o'clock is late. She said her opinion and I said mine. No. Yeah, you keep teasing her. She's really upset. You're a bully. Oh, I'm so sorry, 12. I don't know where she is. You're making everyone upset today. Seriously, you made Gabby upset. <sighs> you made me cry today. And you look about proud of it. Mm, that's why I'm standing Okay, are you annoyed at Charlie? No. Are you annoyed with anyone in the house? Is that... Oh, no. Um, is it me? Are you a werewolf? <laughs> that was a good question, Can though. Can you open the little keyhole door bit? I want to see if you've got fangs. Eventually, after two hours, Sade comes out of the bathroom. This is why an adult needs to step into this little girl's life because she's in this vicious cycle of, I want to be friends with people, but I only know how to make friends by being mean to someone. She needs to learn how to make friends without being mean to anyone. Mm -hmm. Once packing? again, Sade is upset. She's not gonna go home, guys. It's an expression to try and make you feel sorry for her. Based, actually real. For the third time, Sade locks herself in the bathroom, but this time, no one tries to get her out. Yeah, She's either out the window, drowning her bath, or staying in there for attention. Everyone's tired of her shit. Sade has been locked in the bathroom for an hour. No one has tried to talk her out. Eventually, yeah. she comes out of her own accord. 
and she goes back into the room. I went to the bathroom for one hour and no one forgave me for everything I did. What she has probably learned at home is that when she gets in trouble, if she becomes sad enough, well, then she can be forgiven. She probably comes from a household where her parents have no integrity and they don't punish her for her poor behavior. So she's learned that she can be a little shit and then be sad and get away with it. But the thing is, when you grow up with that mindset, you start to become unaware of that strategy. And as we grow up, that evolves into a very complicated, manipulative approach to of interpersonal relationships, right? It's what? getting late, and once again the girls try to sleep. And then, but for the fourth night running, Sade stays up late, and she's joined by Jessica. The squatters are up, and the game begins. Go to a different room. <laughs> Go to a different room. <laughs> Go to a different room. You are. So The girls don't get to sleep until after three. It's the morning of their last day in the house, and Nikki has had a bad night. She ended up sharing her bed with two other girls. Where do you want to go? I'm not so glad I didn't even get five hours of sleep. Sherry left. This is Nikki who wants to leave. Kids are so mean to one another. None of these kids have been raised with the, uh... I, I mean, I think the only kids that had, have really good parenting were Sherry and Nikki. The kids that want to leave. Those are the only kids that have decent fucking parenting, I feel like. Just know? as when Sherry left, the remaining girls huddled together in a corner of the bedroom, and they stay there for most of the morning. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Everyone is going to sing a song, including the judges, Sade and Justine. No, not yet, all right. A dance routine, choreographed by Shaz, starts the evening off. Sharday is going to be so Five, mean. Six. fucking stereotype the the child that has the most problems has a voice has a voice that she needs to find coming to theaters this summer Sade was just an ordinary british girl god damn it we've got to discuss who's best shaz or jessica i think jessica's better than she Thank you for showing us this. Kaylee, Jess, and Chaz, dance and song. Mark, blank out of 10. They haven't scored it yet. They just didn't like it. Alicia's song, nine out of 10. Jessica's song, seven and a half out of 10. Kaylee's song, blank out of 10. Tomorrow, the girls will be returning to their families, to a structured life with rules and regimes. Uh -huh. The final game they play is about tyrannical parents and teachers. Hello again, you silly muppet. Oh, this is gonna be the psychological fucking breakthrough for Sade. She's gonna have an actual like anxiety attack. One of the girls is gonna role play. Sade, you failed the test. And Sade. You have to be angrier than that. Hey! No, nah, Sade is like, nah, see, my mom, you have, to, you have to just punch me. You have to hit me. I'll believe it if you hit me. Just like my mom.
It's the genuine fear. Oh shit, it's working. <laughs> oh shit. This is why she wants to stay up late at night because sleep means getting yelled at. From a psychiatric standpoint, this is fascinating. The things that she is saying, these are all... Oh man, they shouldn't have canceled this show. Time to go home, but the girls are sleeping late. They died. Though they haven't seen their parents in nearly a week, their parents have been able to see them on a monitor at the back of the house. Holy shit. Shardé's parents. Hello. Charday's mom absolutely yells at her. Hello, Charday, right. yeah. Single parent? Single parent, maybe father out of the picture, maybe stepdad. I kept seeing you in the monitor every night, so I did. And it was really fantastic. Oh, oh you must have lost some weight. It must be all that good cooking you've been eating. Yeah. Did you miss all? No, no, you didn't, did you? You had a great time. <laughs> she had a fucking Vietnam moment. Did you see that in her face? Look at her. Miss all? Well, I would love to see post interviews. My six wives and 29 children. Oh, that would be fucking sick to watch. Damn. What is this channel? Real stories? Oh, dude, this is British shit hitting hard. There's some great reacts here.